Okay, today we're going to take a look at a slide and divide method for factoring a trinomial that has a leading coefficient other than 1. Alright, so for my example right here, I've got 7x squared minus 26x minus 8. Alright, now for my first part, I am going to do the slide part of slide and divide. So I am going to take the 7 and I am going to slide it down to the 8 and I'm going to go 7 times 8 is 56. So then I will rewrite, since I've slid it down there, it's no longer in front, x squared minus 26x minus 56. I've slid it down there and multiplied 7 times 8. All right, now I'm going to now factor this. This is a little bit easier trinomial with that leading coefficient of 1. So I'm going to be looking for factors of a negative 56 that sum up to the negative 26 in the middle. All right, so you could just start listing them, negative 1 and times 56. All right, but when I add there, I get 55. And even if I switch my signs, it's not going to be my middle term. If I do a negative 2 times 28, that's a negative 56. But again, if I add, I'm going to get a 26. All right, oh, but now that's really, really close. So it looks like all I've got to do is change my signs there, make it a positive 2 and a negative 28. That will give me my negative 26 in the middle. All right, so factoring this, now I have an x plus 2 and an x minus 28. Okay, now we have done the slide part of slide and divide. All right, now I have to do the divide part. Once I slide that 7 over, then at the end I have to divide by 7 and divide by 7. Okay, now on this one right here, it does not divide out evenly. I can't take 2 divided by 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that 7 out in front and make this binomial a 7x plus 2. All right, on this one, though, 28 does divide by 7. That comes out to be a nice little 4, so x minus 4. All right, and then there is your factored form for 7x squared minus 26x minus 8. All right, now let's uh, real quickly work through another example. All right, let's suppose um, I've got maybe, say, a 3x squared minus a 17x um, plus 20. Okay, so again, I'm going to do the slide and divide. I'm going to slide 3 over and multiply 3 times 20, which will give me a 60. So then, since I slid it over, it's gone in front. I've got an x squared minus 17x plus 60. All right, so I need to factor this trinomial just like I always have. I need numbers that multiply to 60 and then have a sum of that middle term of negative 17. So I could do 1 times 60, 61, not going to work. 2 times 30, that would be 32, still getting pretty far away. 3 times 20, that will be 23, still not finding it yet. Uh, 4 times 15 is 60. Um, and that will give me um, a 19, still not really close. 5 times 12, all right, it's going to give me a 17. Okay, so I'm getting really, really close here, all right, but when I do 5 times 7 does give me a positive 60, but when I add, I get a positive 17, I need a negative 17, all right, so then my other alternative would be to go a negative 5 times a negative 12. That still gives me my positive 60, and now when I add, I get the negative 17. All right, so a little effort there in factoring that one. Um, x minus 5 and then x minus 12. All right, so we've done the slide part. Now we're ready for the divide. I've got to divide both these factors by 3. All right, again, this one does not divide out, so I'm going to take that 3 and pull it out in front of that x. So this uh, binomial is a 3x minus 5. This does divide out, so then I've got an x minus 4. So the trinomial 3x squared minus 17x plus 20 factors down to 3x minus 5 times quantity x minus 4. All right, now, um, not always um, will they divide out or even come out to something where I can pull it out. So let's do one more example with one scenario, one additional scenario that you might run into. Um, let's take a look at, say, a 9x squared plus a 15 x plus a 4. Okay, so slide and divide. We're going to slide the 9 down and multiply it by that 4. 
Okay, it's gone there, so now it's just an x squared plus 15x and then plus 36. So I'm going to go back to my standard method of factoring this. I'm looking for numbers that multiply together to be 36 and sum to a positive 15x. So 1 times 36 um, and then when I add is a 37. Uh, 2 times 18, when I add I get 20, still not getting that 15 yet. 3 times 12 is going to be 36 and now when I add I do get 15. So there is factoring that basic trinomial. I will have an x plus 3 and an x plus 12. Okay, now this time I've got to do the divide part. I've done the slide, now I've got to divide. When I divide by 9 and I divide by 9. Okay, now neither one of these will divide. 3 divided by 9, 12 divided by 9. However, if you kind of look at these as fractions, all right, what you're going to need to do is if when you're dividing, this is something that can be reduced, you're going to have to reduce it first. So then really I would have an x plus and then it's going to be a one third if I reduce that and then an x plus reducing this I will get a four thirds. Okay now we don't want to leave it like that I'm still going to do that um, pulling out in front this is the part I would be dividing by the three I can pull that three out there in front so I'm going to have a three x minus or three x plus one and a 3x plus 4 for my final term. Okay, but the, the reason I wanted to go ahead and do this third example is because right here, all right, you do need to reduce if whatever is being divided doesn't divide out evenly, but it does reduce, so you want to reduce those fractions to be able to get down to your final factored form.